I talked about this a couple times during the week where I said, you can't tell me how the Chiefs win this game because they're not better in any way than the Ravens. The Ravens were great all season. Capital G, great all season. But when it came down to it, when it came down to that you really need to go win this game, one team had Patrick Mahomes and the other didn't. I hated the Ravens' defensive game plan. And I, I can't say that loud enough because Mike McDonald is supposed to be uh, the, the next great head coach for somebody, right? I hated how much in this game they simply sent four and they dropped everybody back. As they were dropping everybody back, they let them sit soft. So you end up with this situation where uh, the time of possession in the first half particularly was wildly skewed to the Chiefs, which would usually tell you incredibly long drives that they're running the football. They weren't. They weren't even trying for the most part to run the football. Yes, they got to the over on Pacheco rushing attempts uh, by halftime. The, the number of that was 14 and a half coming in. They got to 14 at the at the half. So, you know, that, that worked out for them. But 90% of how they were running or, or keeping the ball in the first half was short passes and in fact the drop of the average depth of, of completion to Travis Kelsey was just over 10 yards to everybody else was two in the first half so what you saw was that Kelsey was open wherever he wanted to be finishes with 11 catches for 100 and something yards but everybody else they were just they were comfortable taking the fact that Baltimore was going to give you three yards here four yards there six yards there three yards here four yards there six yards there and it was just like watching a master class of Kansas City saying, hey, we're going to control the football one inch at a time. And as long as we keep moving forward, even though we're throwing the football and the Ravens had no answer by the time you're right. They made some adjustments in the second half that were much better. But by the time they did that, they had no rhythm. They had the offense yeah, for the Ravens was already a failure. I, panic, I, like, yeah. It just I hated the game plan for the Ravens as much as I love this team this year. And as much as everybody respects all of their coaches, I thought it was a trash game plan. Uh, one play epitomizes that for me. End of the first half, third down. I believe it was third down anyway. The, yes, it was. The Chiefs are basically looking at 61 yard field goal, which I'm not really trying to do at Baltimore, right? Unless you know, I'm just Tucker. Harrison Bucker is a good kicker. The Ravens rush for, play back, give up nine yards, and give up a 52 yard field goal. What are you doing? Like, you really, like, you didn't think this through that, that maybe Patrick Mahomes is just like, Oh, you're you're just going to give me a much easier field goal attempt, not just nine extra yards to get Harrison Butker in position. I'll take that. So, to your point, I, I think that that play kind of epitomized it. Where be a little aggressive, like put some heat on him. Don't just give the Kansas City Chiefs three points, which ended up being a pretty big deal in the second half. I, I hated everything about the Ravens in this game. I just thought that they panicked really quickly, and and that's. Not a great look for a John Harbaugh coach. Team. John Harbaugh's a great coach, and Lamar Jackson's a great quarterback, but you could just tell, like, the pressure really seemed to get to them. At home, you're facing Mahomes. They're throwing helmets everywhere. Zay Flowers has a sequence of, uh, I get he's a rookie, but my goodness, he fi they finally make a big play to kind of get back in the game. And he gets up and shoves LeJarius Sneed and throws a ball at him and keeps talking to him. Like, that was a great call, by the way. Like that was a great call by the ref. I, I don't care. Great, like, call. great call. I saw people yelling about it and I, I was sitting there thinking, my God, there are fifth graders right now that have been watching football for two seconds that know if you stand over somebody after a completion and you spin the ball down on them, you're going to get a penalty. So like miss me. Well, the refs are making it about them. No, the ref's job is to call that play. Like that is a stupid penalty. There's no two. Like I'm not going to blame the ref for, for calling a player out on a stupid penalty.